you've said that you know more people who aren't family or friends are coming you know repeat uh, in attendance what have their opinions what have you heard from them in terms of the feedback They've actually, you know, we're sitting here talking about like, oh, we're so scared, our originals. But like, our originals have been received incredibly well um, in some surprising locations sometimes, too. Um, we'll just be surprised, you know, someone will come up to us and, and tell us that, you know, we were great. I especially love the originals. And we're always like, oh, whoa, you know, because I, I guess I just don't expect that usually. Like, yeah. like I said, especially certain yeah. locations, it's very surprising when that's... Um, what happens, but you know, like that dude at Hartford that liked followers, you know, yeah. it's so weird. We have this song called Followers that's like Animal Collective's a huge influence on us, and it's like basically our Animal Collective song. Which if you don't know who they are, they're just like this really weird electronic band, so it's like mostly weird sounds, and like it's just the most bizarre one of the most bizarre songs we have. And he's just this dude in like you know, khakis and a polo, and he was like, You guys are really good, With like a cell phone clip. Oh, yeah, yeah, like that kind of guy. And he's like, I really like that last song you just did, that was really good. I was like, Oh. Thanks, man. Yeah, like, it's like, just so, it's surprising sometimes. It's just weird, so, like, oh, okay. You know, when people, which song speaks to which people, yeah. too, is like, oh, okay. And then, you know, we get a lot of people that are like, oh, man, I oh, love that Folsom Prison Blues. That was yeah. a good tune, you know what yeah. I mean? And obviously, people are super complimentary of, uh, you know, Carolyn is like a freak of nature vocally, so a lot of people are, like, really into yeah. that whole thing. And <laughs> We've actually, I don't know if I've ever told you this, but we have a lot of people comment on Brian uh, Ooh, about, yeah. like, love your drummer, or, like, yeah. love his energy, he's so good, you know? And I'm like, yeah. I know. I taught him everything he knows. I didn't teach him anything. I literally taught him everything. But like, especially <laughs> but people like, yeah. who saw us like before, because we had a we had a different drummer previously, um, and when they've seen like both Black Wolf and the Thieves, um, the big the big comment is a lot of times the energy, and a lot of people are like, Brian just brings like a more like rock, like a little more edge, a little more rock sound. He's, like, he's our Charlie Watts. He's just more in your face about it, and that's I feel like kind of the direction that our like songwriting was really going anyway so it was like this perfect timing yeah when you said that people you wouldn't suspect wouldn't expect i just imagine like some motorcycle like bar you're playing and he's like hey that uh that original he just comes up like <laughs> sobbing oh, <laughs> just crying oh, so bit, <laughs> this really means a lot to me man i am gonna find a way through this man i am i'm gonna do it man so what was the process like recording and getting ready to release your album? I know, so Brian wasn't, Brian isn't the drummer on the album. So I feel bad when this kind of stuff comes up, but it's okay. I know, he plays them all really well now though, he does. You would never know. Um, so it was like a two year process. Um, For no reason. Yeah, we just took our time. <laughs> but I say all the time, like I'd rather us have taken our time but it, it really wasn't us taking our time. A lot of it, it was just like, meh, we'll do it later. A lot of it, <laughs> no, honestly, a lot of it was like, you know, we're in our late 20s, we bought a house, we got married, yeah. you know, like yeah. all that stuff happened while we were recording this. And, you know, we have regular, regular jobs and, you know. It was interesting though, cause like at every show we'd be like, oh, we have an album coming up soon. Cause we were, we were in fact in the process yeah. of recording and people like, started like heckling us and we're like when, when you know yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that same motorcycle guy who's like yeah. meet you outside with the crowbar yeah. hey it, sorry guys. It, like, <laughs> kind of just started feeling like something that i was saying in between songs and like wasn't a real thing and then when our drummer um he moved to nashville and like that kind of had to kickstart us because we're like oh we're not done like we need you man and he was super cool yeah. like he He's like, okay, well, I've got like these the, this week, you know, and, and he came in and just like plowed through and finished stuff up. Yeah, um, and that really kind of was a wake up call for us. Like, okay, we need to get this done. Like, we need to really finish this. And like, you know, and it's also, it was also kind of discouraging. I think part of the reason we took so long to finish it too is because like we, we've been a band for like five years. You know, I mean, I mean, no one, you're going to probably release this episode and people are going to be like, who? Black Wolf and the Sheep, <laughs> who, you know? Um, and so, I mean, it's it's been a long road for us. And and so, I mean, part of it was discouraging. It was like, well, what, who cares if we even finish this thing? It doesn't, you know, whatever, I don't know. And so I don't know that that was in anybody else's head, but it was just kind of like, nope. I don't know. It was just kind of like, uh, you know, like things for the band slow down. And then we started getting all these shows and I was like, oh, well, we should probably finish this. Yeah. Like we need to get this done. Um, and so we did, like she said, our other drummer leaving really kind of kickstarted us like, okay, let's get this done. 
and um, and then the actual process once it was finished, uh, and we got it, we actually got to the mixing phase, which means everything was actually done. Which I didn't know this, but the mixing phase basically just equals you listening to your album sixty-five times yeah. in a row. It is like it's crazy. Like, ooh, that, ooh, I still that. like it, which is amazing. Yeah. But I mean, it, it was like, oh my gosh, I don't know if I can listen to this again, you know. <laughs> and um, and then it was getting all the artwork done and all the merch done and everything like that. And that was when you actually have a deadline on it, because that's basically what we did. Is we just kind of like in November we asked the guy who recorded our album, who needs a shout out, Todd Mackey's like just a, a wizard. I mean, he's amazing. Um, he's really, really awesome. A lot awesome. of the stuff you hear on that album was his idea, his head, like, you know, oh, hey, try this, like, you know. was, like, life-changing. Yeah, he's really, <laughs> really awesome. Did really did a great job with everything he did. But anyway, um, we kind of said to him in November, like, hey, when can this be done? And he was like, end of January, I can have mixes for you if you do this, this, and this. And I was like, okay, that means that we could release in February. So we, we, like, booked a date. We booked a date, like, and we were is. just like, here it is. This Can't is what's happening. Now. And I mean, Honestly, we, that, I kind of do the same yeah. thing for some, yeah. because, like, if I could get to it when I get to it, but if I say that, you know, this is yeah, the date. It was real. Like, we put it on our, like, events page on our yeah. website, and, like, okay, this is the thing. And, uh, and then it was just a mad dash to get stuff done. And, I mean, it was just, dude, it was, like, obstacle after obstacle after obstacle. Like, I mean, and dumb stuff. Like, my card didn't work. This card that I used to pay all my bills is just like, nope, just didn't go through. Process is delayed by two days. And then, we were like afraid they weren't gonna show right, that it wasn't gonna be here in time. We weren't gonna get the album in time. And then like, um, she did all, we did like liner notes and stuff for the album. Um, Cause we, that was just something, you know, we were like, the lyrics really mean something to us. And like, you know, I remember like buying albums when we were, when I was a kid, you know, and getting it all. I mean, look like the lyrics, part of you look at album. the pictures and stuff. So I was like, let's like go <laughs> all out. Like a lame booklet. I was like, oh. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And so we were like, let's do this. So she does it, right? She does this whole thing. This woman comes home from work every day for a week, at least four hours, if not longer than that, every single day and goes on Photoshop is making these amazing pages for it, right? Does all the design herself. You know, it's insane. And uh, I deleted everything. <laughs> we can laugh about it now. <laughs> <laughs> because it was saved. So we were now. sitting on the couch and she's like so remember doing, that whole marriage thing. She was doing the inside. She was doing the inside of the actual CD jacket. And she was like, oh, the scratch disks are full on this computer. So like you need to delete so some slow. stuff. So I was like, oh, okay, yeah, no problem. So I just delete it. I go to like this folder that I always delete just, out of, like, which was where everything. she saved everything. And I didn't know that. It was like in this folder that had some random name. And I just, just deleted it. Oh, yeah, make sure you empty the trash there too. So it's definitely not redeemable. Or else it's not deleted. And when that was realized on that Friday when we were supposed to, um, supposed to have submitted everything she realized that I actually thought we were gonna get a divorce I was pretty I sure I went through all the stages of grief I, in about uh, two hours I was pretty sure that that was the end uh, of <laughs> not only the band but like our relationship and I was like wow that's all this is insane no but know? like my I thankfully like was nerding out on my own creation so I took pictures of all of them on my phone yeah. so I had like at least something to look off of to recreate them so what you'll see on the album is basically what Basically, what she was a trooper. She did it in two days. That work, that was like, I mean, seriously, it is no exaggeration to say she easily put in 20 hours, and did it in like eight, you know, just had to. Now, we set a date. You know, <laughs> yeah. um, and so everything came in and it was totally cool. So it worked out. And then just like every, so we have a bunch of limited edition merch we're going to be releasing as well. Every single one of them, there was a problem that deleted. And we were just like, what is going on, man? Who doesn't want us to release this album? At one point, album? he was like, the universe doesn't want us to make this album. It was like, someone has a piano overlord. Yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> These guitarists are sitting There's in Washington. There's a guitarist out there with a voodoo doll. Like, yeah, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's failing. He's not going to say anything. Terrible. 